Hello and this is Theme Park Squib and today it's the Christmas special of the show. Yes, I'll be doing two specials over the festive period. One Christmas special and one New Year special. Last year I only done a New Year special but this year I'm going in with a Christmas special. So what we got coming up today? Well, obviously this Christmas we're not able to do anything. We're in Tier 4 so uh, we can't be getting to some parts. Last couple of years we've been to Chesington for their event. Uh, but uh, yeah, what we got coming up today is I've got Christmas in the Park. So just do an overview of what's happening, which some of it didn't happen in the end. None of, some of it didn't even open, but some of the stuff that uh, is going on in the parks, because I know Alton Tower was there in the lower tier, so they've still open for Christmas. Uh, and uh, also today we've got a, a quiz. I'll be doing a, a small five... Uh, Five question quiz and also a Christmas cracker question at the end, which is worth double points. Uh, I've done one of them in lockdown, I thought I'd bring it back for Christmas. And also, in merch showcase, I'll be showing you my top ten favourite pop badges there. And in the new year one, obviously, I'll be wrapping up the year, uh, just talking about what we've done this year, looking forward to next year, and also talking, uh, I'll be showing you my top ten pin badges. But also, we've got something special today. Uh, I'll actually be uh, making a hot chocolate, a special hot chocolate. I'll give you the recipe of how to make it. And uh, yeah, I thought it was a bit crispy, thought I'd do it. And uh, yeah, so let's get straight into Christmas at the Park. Yeah, as I said, the first part of uh, today's show is Christmas at the parks, so we're going to look at um, what's been going on in Christmas uh, across the UK parks. Obviously, none of it's happening now where we are because we live in tier four. We were put into that, so uh, no Christmas, uh, no mixing around Christmas, and no Christmas events we can visit because we're actually it was meant to be a vlog from Silverstone. We we're meant to be going there for Lapland, their new driving experience. Not driving experience, just drive through light show they had around the track. We actually get to drive your car on the Silverstone circuit, obviously, home of the British Formula One Grand Prix, but. We couldn't do that. We literally the night before we were told we couldn't travel from our area because of our tears. So we won't be going to that this year. So hopefully if they do it again next year, we will be going along. Uh, and uh, yes, yeah, so that was meant to be a vlog that it meant to have, but obviously not as many things this year have been cancelled. Uh, but uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff on going around at park events. Obviously Chesnton had their event, Winter's Tail back, uh, which this year looked like Vampire was going to be open yet again, but... Elmer this year, one of their new additions will be open. Uh, that's not open now because of the tier system. Same with Legoland, they won't have their usual Legoland uh, Christmas event where they'd have quite a lot. Legoland has quite a lot there uh, open, uh, but that's obviously not open. Alton Towers, though, is open for their Christmas event. Um, Never been to Alton Towers at Christmas. I've stayed there. Used to have to only stay there, but now you can visit the park without staying at Christmas. And they've got a very good offering. That's still open. I don't know if the tiers, if the tiers change, it obviously won't be open. Uh, but uh, yeah, they've got quite a lot there uh, this year. Obviously, the usual's open. So Tower Street's open. You can walk in there. Mutiny Bay is open, so you can get on Heath Home, Waters Mayhem, Shark Bait Reef. Shark Bait Reef is not open now due to the tier system. No indoor attractions because we were meant to have Shark Bait Reef, Hex, and Jewel open there, but. They're not opening now uh, because of the tier system. But other stuff, Spinball Wizards open. And this year, I've got a new attraction with the Garden Lights Walk, um, Twinkling Stars. So they had the Garden Light Walk, Whispering Souls, in the Alton Towers Gardens uh, at Halloween for Scarefest. But they've redone that for Christmas. Uh, it looks fantastic. But sadly, we can't travel up there due to the tier system. But Alton Towers looks like they do a really good job. Chesnut normally do a good job. It's just such a shame that these events can't take place and hopefully we get to see something maybe in the new year in January time if they can reopen uh, maybe the Alton Towers Gardens I'll definitely do a visit down there if they open the Alton Towers Gardens up again if we can travel up there obviously uh, but yeah and Adventure Island they've got their Christmas event I've normally heard they've got Rage Open this year they've done a really good deal didn't they after lockdown for £10 for a wristband uh, they really do love it Adventure Island one of my locals uh, can't visit there. If, when we were in Tier 3, we could visit there, but uh, now we can't. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so um, always going to be this Christmas. This Christmas special and the New Year special, which will be next week, which I'll be wrapping up the year, talking about next year and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy uh, whatever you're doing this Christmas. Uh, we know it's going to be a different Christmas. Obviously, some people can't mix. Some people you can only have a limited number and all that. But uh, we'll make sure to have a good one. And uh, yeah, we were meant to be going to Lapland, such a shame about that, but hopefully we can go next year, but next year will definitely be a big year for the channel, we've got a lot planned, big trip planned in the summer, if it can go ahead, uh, but a lot we've got planned next year, so hopefully some of that can come to a reality. Next, into our next part of this festive show, which is the quiz. I've done the quiz over lockdown, so I thought I'd brought it back. Here's the quiz. 
Yeah, this is my festive quiz. I actually done one of these over lockdown. I've done a little quiz, a uh, couple of rounds on there. Theme Park Bear helped me with that one. Uh, I bought that on over lockdown because we had nothing to do and I thought I'd end up doing it for you. Uh, but uh, yeah, so I bought it back for Christmas. Just get your pens and your papers ready if you want to. If you want playing on your own, you can. If you want to play with your family or friends, play it. Get some pens and papers to write the questions down. Get them down now. Just explain how this quiz is going to work. So now I'm going to do the five normal questions. Uh, it will be a question I'll read to you. I'll read to you twice, and then you'll have four possible answers. We'll then take a break where we will then do the... Uh, top 10 pop badges before coming back for the Christmas cracker question which is your bonus question you get two two points for that one which is question six and the final question we'll have a break after that we'll then move in downstairs into the kitchen where I'll be making the hot chocolate and then before the end of the show I will reveal all the answers at the end of the show so uh just to refer, I'll be reading five questions now, then it'll be top ten pot badges, then the Christmas cracker question, then answers at the end. I'll read them to you twice, you've got multiple choice, so even if you don't know, you've got a 25% chance of getting it right. And uh, yeah, let's get straight into question one. Question one is, what is the name of Chessington World Adventures Christmas event called? Is it A, Winter Wonderland, B, Chessington's Christmas, C, A Zootastic Christmas, or D, Winter's Tale. I'll read that out again for you. What is the name of Chessington World Adventures' Christmas event called? Is it A, Winter Wonderland, B, Chessington's Christmas, C, A Zootastic Christmas, or D, Winter's Tale? That was question one there. Now time for question two. If you feel free, pause it if you need more time to answer the questions. But here we go, question two. The Munich, the Munich Lupin is a fantastic roller coaster that comes to Hyde Park Winter Wonderland every year. Such a shame that Winter Wonderland ain't on this year. But what is the name of this attraction when it is at other events across Europe? Due to licensing, they can't use the normal name over here, I believe. So it's got a different name. So uh, here are your uh, options. Are A, the Berlin Lupin, B, the Olympia Lupin, C, the Oktoberfest Lupin, or D, Loops of Fear. I'll read that out again for you. The Munich Lupin is a roller coaster that comes to Hyde Park Winter Wonderland every year. But what is the name of the attraction when it is at other events across Europe? Is it A, the Berlin Lupin, B, the Olympia Lupin, C, the Oktoberfest Lupin, or D, Loops of Fear? Now on to question three. Normally at Alton Towers' Christmas event, you can only see Father Christmas in one place, which is normally at the back of Sea Beebe's Land. But this year, there is another location where you can see Father Christmas. Where is this other location? Is it A, next to Claire Cuckoo Car's driving school? B, inside the towers? C, in the Mutiny Bay Courtyard? Or D, down Haunted Hollow. I'll read that again. Normally at Alton Towers, you can only see Father Christmas in one location, which is normally located at the back of Sea Beebe's Land. But this year, you can see him in another location as well as the one in Sea Beebe's Land. Which location is it? Is it A, next to the Claire Cuckoo Cars Driving School, B, inside the Towers, C, in the Mutiny Bay Courtyard, or D, Down the Haunted Hollow? Now time for question four. What main signature roller coaster is normally open at Chessington's Christmas event? Is it A, Vampire, B, Dragon's Fury, C, Scorpion Express, or D, Rattlesnake? I'll read that again for you. What main roller coaster is normally open at Chessington for their Christmas event? Is it A, Vampire, B, Dragon's Fury, C, Scorpion Express, or D, Rattlesnake? Now on to the final question, but this is not the last question, we've got the Christmas cracker question coming up later, but this is question 5. At Alton Towers for the 2020 Christmas event, which one of these areas are not open this year for Christmas? Is it A, C, Beebe's Land, B, Cantanga Canyon, C, Tower Street, or D, Mutiny Bay? This year, so the question again is, at Alton Towers, which one of these areas is not open for the 2020 Christmas event? Is it A, C, Beebe's Land, B, Cantanga Canyon, C, Tower Street, or D, Mutiny Bay? So that's it for your five questions. We've got the Christmas cracker question coming up in a minute. But now I'm going to be showing you through a bit of merch, uh, merch showcase where I'll be showing you my top ten pop badges. So, uh, yeah, here we go, and I'll show you my top ten. 
I'm downstairs now in my dining room on the table to show you my top 10 pop badges. Pops badges are a fantastic thing that Merlin do. We've got them through so many ways over the past couple of years, either as a gift in a kid's meal at a restaurant or for completing a challenge or for limited edition events. And here's my top 10. Some of them I like the look of. Some of them have got very good memories to go around with them. So uh, let's get straight into it. Firstly, we have one from Legoland here. And you're thinking, why have I picked this? It's just a random chef holding a baguette. It's actually because this is my first ever, this is number 10, it's my first ever pop badge that I ever got was this one. Uh, I got it in, I think, the restaurant. It was about 2013. Uh, it was where Pirate's Burger Kitchen now is at Legoland Windsor, which is the burger place. It used to be like a pizza place that served basically everything. So I got that in there, I remember going there a really rainy day and I remember getting this and wondering what it was and it spoiled a very large collection after that. Next in at number 9, we have a pop badge for an old attraction, it's Wicked Witch's Haunt from Fort Park. This one uh, was part of their 40 year celebration, they've done a thing where I think if you spent 10 quid in the shop over some months, each month would have had a different pop badge based on a different old Fort Park attraction. This was the one for October, I remember. They had six of them. This was for October, obviously, Halloween, the old ghost train the park. It's actually glow in the dark. I'll uh, try and show you that now. You can't seem to get the glow in, dark, the, glow in the dark feature working. I don't know, uh, maybe because it's been in a box for quite a while, but uh, yeah, it does glow in the dark. I remember getting this. Love the 40 year merch they brought out at Fort Park. It was very well. Got the merch, the pin badges, and then we got the pop badges for our classic rides. And I love the retro stuff they're bringing out. Next one, we actually have one from Chessington World of Adventures. And this one is quite a recent one. I remember getting it over Christmas last year there. Uh, you can get these pretty easily. You can still get it now. It's like one of those things. Remember, well, I remember when I was really young, you used to be able to go to these machines. You put a pound in, you spin it, and a ball would come out of a gift. I got a lot of them at Chesnut. I think these ones, I remember getting this in the hotel next to the arcade. But there's also one outside the big arcade and also the shop. And this one's just to celebrate one of their old attractions. They've got a collection. I think you've got this, Safari Skyway, Bubble Works, Rodeo. This one's for Dragon Falls, which is one of my all-time favourite Chesnut attractions. Obviously down the bottom there, 1987 to 2017. Dragon Falls of the Park Log Flume. It's still there. It's Tiger Rock now. But I just remember, I have fond memories of this version of the ride more than Tiger Rock, because... I remember going there when I was younger. I was very, very scared of going on log flumes when I, for the first ever time. And uh, I was tricked on it, and I really enjoyed it in the end. But I love the theme, Oriental theme. Haven't got a lot of that. Very good log flume. Preferred it then because we had a big dragon uh, head around the second drop. And I've got mem many memories of going there with members of my family as well. But a very, very good attraction. And that's why I like this pop badge so much. I love the logo. I love the attraction. So that's a shame, even though Rock Film's still there, I still go on it, it's not on the same level as what it used to be. And in, in its last couple of years, it did begin to decay. So at number five, we have the one from Fort Farm, which was another one for the 40th anniversary celebrations at Fort Park. This was actually the first one they brought out, so similar to Wicked Witch's Horn, you spent £10 in the shop, you got one of these. I think this was for May, the first month they'd done it, because I remember this is when all the other 40 years stuff came out. Uh, so, that's the, so I spent all my money on that and then got this for free with it. So uh, yeah, with uh, Fort Farm, obviously you can still visit Fort Farm. You can't go inside it, you can just walk around it. When you do Monk's Walk, if you go to the Fort Village near the church, just walk down, it's just a mess in there. And then they dump all the old stuff, the big top uh, clown heads in there. But uh, yeah, let's get on to number four. So yes, number Four is another one part of the 30 year Chesington collection. Uh, yeah, this one's for Calamity Canyon with the old runaway mine train on it. Obviously, that's not there anymore. Well, it is, it's Scorpion Express, but not as Calamity Canyon. That's now Mexicana. And obviously, the runaway mine train is now Scorpion Express. It was a lot better as the runaway mine train. It was the rock work was fantastic around there. Really did enjoy it. Now it's good, it's quite well famed now, but I did prefer it back then. Felt faster as well inside. Number three, we have the final one that was part of the 30 Years Chesington collection. This one is obviously for Dragon River or Dragon Falls, which I went on it on originally Dragon River with the old heads there. It used to be down the back of the drop. They haven't been there for years. And that's Tiger Rock now. They were removed, weren't they, a couple of years before they took it down. 
or rethemed it. But yeah, that that was when the attraction looked good. I remember going on it with like them fantastic ride. And uh, yeah, we'll go on to uh, number two now. So number two is this one, this Legoland pumpkin one. I remember getting this the first time we went to Legoland Brick or Treat and I got into pot badges and there was a challenge to do. I think we had to spot the pumpkins around the park and collect it. Glow in the dark as well. Don't know if it'll still work. Oh, the Wicked Witch's Haunt one. We can give it a go. No, as you can see there, they don't glow anymore. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's just a random pumpkin there. But uh, very good. Before I reveal what number one is, I'm going to just show you one of the Christmas ones I own. It's this one from Chesington World of Adventures. Just missed out on the top ten, actually. Probably in number 11 on my favourite. Father Christmas, Reindeer and a Penguin. Now, I remember getting this the first time I went to Chesington on Boxing Day. I remember eating in pizza and pasta for the first time and getting this pop badge. But yeah, it's a very... Um, Nice pot badge. Thought I'd show you it, even though it just missed out on the top ten. Thought I'd show you it because obviously it is Christmas time. So number one is this pot badge. No, I'm only joking. It's not this pot badge. This is the I Heart Fun Merlin Annual Pass Premium Pass holder one. I remember when you used to get a Merlin Annual Pass, you get one of these, and we had loads of them. Everyone had loads of them, and they'd always trade them with staff lanyards to get better pot badges. <laughs> but yeah, just thought I'd. Include just put that in as a little joke. But number one actually is this Bubbleworks one that I got, I think on preview day in 2014. I remember getting it in Burger Kitchen. Uh, so this is the first year Bubbleworks had Imperial Leather sh uh, strip from it. So that's where you got the duck in the middle where Imperial Leather used to be. Uh, but yeah, I still miss Bubbleworks. One of my all-time favourite rides, but I still remember getting this one. And uh, yeah, very nice pop badge as well. So that was my top ten pop badges. In my new year one, I will be doing my top 10 pin badges. So stay tuned for that one. But yeah, I'm going to go upstairs now to read the final Christmas cracker question. So I'll see you after that. You join me back in the hub now. I've got your final question, the Christmas cracker question. Obviously I've done the five earlier, so uh, get your papers out again if you're answering. The answers will be after the next bit, which is when I make the hot chocolate. Uh, but yeah, the Christmas cracker question is worth two points. So this will be at seven, the quiz. Not as many as I've done last time. So my last one was at like 20 or something. But two years, off double points. It is quite a hard question. Uh, but remember, the answers will be at the end. So here's your question. At Alton Towers, which ride returned for the 2009 Christmas event after closing in 2008? Was it A, the Beastie, B, the Frog Hopper, C, the Bouncing Bugs, or there's probably more commonly known as the Ugg Bugs, which were on their previous forms, or D, the Doodle Doo Derby? So I'll read that to you again. At Alton Towers, which ride returned in the two for the 2009 Christmas event after closing its doors in 2008? Is it A, the Beastie, B, the Frog Hopper, C, the Bouncing Bugs, or it's more commonly known as Ugg Bugs, or D, the Doodle Doo Derby? Now you, I'll be going down to my kitchen where I'm going to make a special hot chocolate. Yes, as I said, I'm going to be making the Theme Park Swib special hot chocolate. So let's go through the ingredients. So you will need whipped cream, milk, some aero balls, any flavour of your choice, a cup to serve it in and also a cup to put the milk in as well. And also your microwave. Step one, pour your milk in the mug that you're going to put in the microwave. <coughs> yeah, we're using a mug, but I would advise you use a jug because this could go terribly wrong uh, with a lot of milk everywhere. So let's head over to the microwave. Get your jug or mug, which we're using in this case, of milk. Put it in the microwave. Set it on your microwave mode, not defrost mode. Confirm that. Put it onto one minute. 1 minute and 50 seconds, around there, and then start. <laughs> Must be ready. So I've opened my Aero Peppermint box, uh, and uh, you can use whatever arrows you want, orange, plain, I think they do caramel now as well. But you put these at the bottom of your serving glass, or the one you're serving in, so I'll probably put about 12, 10, 12 in. That's probably about enough, I'll put one more in.
But now to make the hot chocolate, you've got to put your hot milk in. It's going to be quite a challenge because we're using a mug and not a jug. Who would advise using a jug? Oh! <laughs> I made a bit of a mess there. That's why I advise use a jug. I made a bit of a mess. I've just mopped it up. So now you've got to stir to make your hot chocolate. What a nice uh, feeling. How are you getting like a greeny colour? Obviously it's milk. Mint. I think we've actually done this very wrong. I probably didn't say that the rest of the show because I filmed it earlier. But uh, yeah, so now we've got to put your squirty cream, a bit of decoration on. For um, Try and make like a swirl, but if you can't, just make a mess with it. Any squirty cream will be good. We've just gone one from a supermarket. That's not it though. You've got to put some decoration on top. Just put a couple of your spare aero balls because you ain't going to need to use all of them on top. Make sure they don't roll off or you get any cream right there. That looks good to go. I'm going to try it now. Just get a bit of cream off the side. And give it a try. Mmm, very nice. Yeah, well that went a bit wrong, you know, I just had a mouthful of cream. Mmm. Quite mincy. Quite milky as well. Mmm. Tastes like hero mint. So yeah, I think it went wrong to be honest. A lot of things went wrong, such as me messing around the microwave and uh, nearly uh, spilling the milk everywhere. Uh, but yeah, I'm doing this because we've got nothing else to do. You can experiment with different flavours, try it home, hopefully you do better, but do use a jug. I think the mug made that go a bit wrong. But yeah, try other flavours. I said try different arrows or different flavours. Like orange I think as well. Uh, chocolate orange, try that, that'll probably be quite nice. Uh, others chocolates as well, but I don't know if you could use jelly salts, because I'm sure you could use them. But yeah, overall, well, if you want to see me do more cooking, just comment down below. And uh, yeah, back upstairs. I'm back upstairs now after making that very nice hot chocolate downstairs in the kitchen. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Something a bit different. I do do things a bit differently. I did have the uh, spicy pot noodle, so if you want me to eat another spicy pot noodle again, we've done that back in lockdown, I will do it. Um, but yeah, so uh, I've done the cooking, maybe I might do some making, making some food or making a drink in the new year one, you never know to see how it goes, I'm thinking toy in between either having a quiz or that, uh, I don't know what quite what yet, obviously with the wrap up and that, but yeah, now it's your, uh, your quiz answers, so get your paper out again, mark again. And uh, yeah, so questions one answer. So the question was, what is the name of Chesterton World of Adventures Christmas event called? Your answers were A, Winter Wonderland, B, Chesterton Christmas, C, A Zootastic Christmas, or D, Winter's Tale. The correct answer is D, Winter's Tale. It's the Chesterton Winter's Tale event. So uh, mark yourself for that one. That is worth one point. Next, your uh, question was question two, which was the Munich Looping comes to Hyde Park Winter Wonderland every year. What is its name? when it's at other events in Europe, is it A, the, your answers were either A, Berlin Looping, B, Olympia Looping, C, Oktoberfest Looping, or D, Loops of Fear. The correct answer was B, Olympia Looping. So that's a point for that one. Next was question three, which was normally at Alton Towers, you can only see Father Christmas what, uh, in one location at their Christmas event. It's normally at the back of CBeebies Land. But in 2020, what other location can you see him at? Is it A, your answers were A, next to Claire Cuckoo Driving School, B, in the Towers, C, Mutiny Bay Courtyard, or D, down the hollow, the Haunted Hollow. The correct answer was C, the Mutiny Bay Courtyard. Yes, this year you can see something in two locations, either in the Courtyard or uh, it's called like Elves Avenue or something, or down the back of CBeebies Land next to Justin's house. Now time for question four, which is what main signature roller coaster is normally open at Chesterton's Christmas event? 
Uh, was it the answer to either A, Vampire, B, Dragon's Fury, C, Scorpion Express, or D, Rattlesnake? The correct answer was A, Vampire. I probably mentioned that earlier in the show, actually. Uh, but yeah, they do open Vampire normally for Christmas. Uh, very good to get down there if you want to have a bit of a winter riding session. Now that's worth one point. Now your final normal question it was question five, um, which was at Alton Towers, which one of these areas is not open for the 2020 Christmas event? Your answers you could have were A, C, Beavis Land, B, Contangia Canyon, C, Tower Street, and D, Mutiny Bay. The correct answer was B, Contangia Canyon, the area where obviously you have the runaway mine train and also the Congo River Rapids. Sea Beebe's Land is open, it's got to be, it's quite a big draw. Tower Street, obviously the entrance, and Mutiny Bay, you've got a couple of rides open in there, so that's Contained Canyon. Now it's your answer for the Christmas cracker question. Remember, it's worth two points, so this quiz is out of seven. Uh, and the question was, at Alton Towers, which ride returned for the 2009 Christmas event after closing in 2008? Your answers were either A, the Beastie, B, the Frog Hopper, C, the Bouncing Bugs, which more commonly known as Bugs, or D, the Doodle Doo Derby. The correct answer was C, the Bouncing Bugs, or the Ugg Bugs. Uh, so yeah, they came back, I think, in 2009, I was reading. And they came back in Claire Cuckoo Land, because they did shut in 2008 when Qued Street closed. Uh, but yeah, but obviously the Beastie, that closed a couple of years later, that was the small kiddies coaster. Fog Hopper, obviously that's just been rethemed to Raj's Bouncy Bottom Burp. Need to get that one right. Uh, and D, Doodle Doo Derby, which was obviously the cat farmyard themed carousel in Old McDonald's now, I think. It's in the Num Tums, they've done it up for this year, didn't they? The Bugby go around, wouldn't it, because it was the Num Tums. But yeah, it's the Bouncy Bugs, uh, well, the Ugg uh, Bugs, it's more commonly known when it was in Ugland. I hope you uh, enjoyed that quiz, and I hope you enjoyed the episode. We've done a lot different this Christmas. We were meant to be at Lapland, as I said, but or Silverstone's Lapland, but such a shame we couldn't go there. But, uh, yeah, it's just leave comments, uh, like and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The New Year episode goes out next week, probably a week after this one goes on. And uh, let me know if you'd rather see in that one, because what the New Year one will be like will be... I'll be reflecting on the year as the first part... Then I'll be looking at next year and revealing what we got planned. Uh, and then, obviously at the end, I, but then I am merchandise, as I said, pin badges. I'll be revealing my top ten pin badges. But I'm stuck between either doing a quiz again about the past year or cooking something or making a drink. I don't know which. So if you comment down below if you've got any suggestions of what I should do with that. But yeah, I hope everyone has a very Merry Christmas and also, a very importantly, a safe Christmas year. Sticks to all the rules and guidelines from the government. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed We've done it a bit different. We made a hot chocolate, didn't we? We've done a quiz. And uh, yeah, so enjoy your Christmas. Stay safe. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Hopefully, in the new year, next year, hopefully it'll be a lot better and we can get to the parks again. But I'll see you in my next video. Merry Christmas and goodbye.